Ah, Johannesburg, named after two Afrikaners called Johannes. Ekoli, the city of gold, the economic powerhouse of South Africa, the bread basket of tenders and BEE big tummies. Mm. And of course, the new home for the cultivated beards of craft beer drinking hipsters. This is the promo for the trendy Maboneng precinct. But it ends here. They've been issued eviction notices to leave privately owned buildings, home to some for over 20 years. Yeah, because while gentrification is seeing white people be like, no, let's take back the city to build designer coffee shops and outlets for skinny jeans, the real residents of the city are being evicted by these guys. This is what the community in Jeppie's town is fighting against, the forced removal of themselves and their belongings from buildings like this by the red ants. It happens very fast. Very quickly, and there's very little they can do once an eviction order has been made. In case you are wondering, although those guys are dressed in red, those are not EFF members. Those are the red ants. And if you're one of the many marginalized people living in the many abandoned buildings in the city, those red helmets mean that your mattress and your room divider are about to be reappropriated without compensation. I smell a red, Joburg. I smell a red. Something in Joburg Things. And I'm not even talking about the ruthless evictions. They appear to improve the CBD's image. But these bins are having the opposite effect. Some have not been emptied in years. They are now overflowing, raising health concerns in the area. So that's what's been stinking. Now, if only Pick It Up guys could remove rubbish with the same vigor that those red ants are evicting families in Jeppe's town, then we'd all be winning. But I guess when it comes to actual rubbish, the city doesn't want to get its hands dirty. But not to worry, Johannesburg, not to worry. While some people out there are having real problems, the greener parts of the city comrades are fighting a very different battle. If you've ever seen this sticker, it's to educate drivers to give bicycles space on the road. Did you know that you're supposed to be 1.5 meters away from a cyclist? So you've got to be this far away from me. But you're not, I'm in your door. Ah! Ah, uh, Comrade Yusuf, eh? a true revolutionary. No helmet, no cycling. Eh? That's the same as no glove, no love. Ah, oh, wow, Yusuf. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that while some people are carving out bicycle lanes and coffee shops so they can feel safe in the city, other residents are being thrown out of their homes with everything that they own. And where might these people live now when the only reason that they live in the abandoned building in the first place is because they couldn't afford a home? That's why they're there. Just move them. It doesn't matter. Just move them. They don't need so far town anyway. It's like a rehash of apartheid all over again. And the city of Joburg is very much to blame. They sell all these rundown buildings to businessmen without a second thought about the people who are living there or plan to relocate them. I don't understand. Meanwhile, last year, the city of Johannesburg underspent by 1.3 billion rand. Huh? With this much money, why didn't the city of Gauteng buy these buildings and turn them into proper living spaces? I don't understand. It's rough, Joburg. It's rough. I sometimes wonder, who the hell is running the city of Johannesburg? I mean, come on.